it's Elle and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time watching my video hello I'm Elle I'm 23 I'm a Libra and I was born and raised in the city of waterfalls Liga City in the island of Mindanao currently residing in the Queen City of the South Cebu City in the island of Visayas so yeah if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button below and if you like this video please share me some love so I'm sure you already know what this video is going to be basing on the title so without further ado let's just get on with the video so there are three questions that I'm going to answer in this video number one is what happened to me after I graduated college number two is what I did or what did I do in the past two years and number three, am I going to continue vlogging or making videos for YouTube? So, yeah. The <laughs> camera You think, right? Just a disclaimer. Just a disclaimer if you hear any noises, it's just the surrounding. Yeah. So, I'm gonna start by saying I miss, miss, miss vlogging and making videos for YouTube so much. And at first, I thought now when I. When I graduate, I'll, I'll be able to, you know, continue vlogging and make videos for YouTube, but I was wrong because I thought that when I transferred to Cebu, I'd still have financial support from my family, but sadly, it didn't go that way and it was only applicable if I stayed in Iligan. If y'all don't know, I have zero plans and settling in Iligan so I had to find a way to be able to stay in Cebu so I applied for work anyway after graduation I flew to Malaysia for a little vacation if you haven't seen that video yet I'm going to link it down below it's my Sabah 2018 vlog and a day or two after I went I came home from that little vacation I went straight to Cebu with my mom to find a job or apply for work. So yeah, I, I applied for a day job, I got hired, and I started working ASAP. I thought now working wouldn't be so hard, right, compared to, you know, still going to school and studying, but I was legit so wrong. It's a big scam, guys. It's really a big scam. I don't think it's a big scam. <laughs> Kapoy ka ayo mag work, especially if you're a fresh graduate and you have no experience whatsoever. And with the type of personality that I have, I really can't stay awake for 15 hours or 16 hours every single day. So yeah, I really look up to those people. Bang, uh, every every after work hours, they still have the energy to go out and laag with friends and stuff like that. Because I get drained so easily that every time like I come home from work, I just curl up in a ball to recharge. And mind you, I applied for a freaking day job. So that's Mondays to Fridays, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Weekends off pag yun. You could probably say or makaimunjo ka nga, ah, ang yahay na ng schedule because weekends off pag yun, and then it's a day, in, it's a day shift. It's not a graveyard shift. But I wish I could say the same. Okay, una -una -una mo, really, sayun ka siya una -una -on. But my job is super mentally draining. It was so hard to like juggle two clients in one day and different with different demands. And I mean, my my workload was like social media, graphic design, website building. I did advertising, marketing, and all those things. So grabe yung gina juggle every day bitaw. Yeah, organized pa ko sa mga files and all those things that you can imagine. Yeah, it wasn't really easy for me, but I had to hold on to that job because I needed income. So yeah, but I decided to quit lang yun because I really felt like the pay wasn't really worth it for the type of job that I had. I mean, di man siya ingon nga physically draining, but mentally, grabe kay siya ka draining and. Yeah, like I said, it's super demanding. I guess the pay was average because like their defense uh, company is that I was a fresh grad and all. I didn't have experience, so 
ever in my life. I don't want to be But probably for some people, I'm already done. But actually, to be honest, if I apply for an online job then, I'm sure na more time still siguro akong sweldo compared to the one that I that I got with the in the same field ha if I applied in the same field with the skills that I have, I'm sure na times two git ako ang times or times three because I also looked it up in like ano mga online jobs ng mga websites and grabe kay kada ko pay if skill-wise lang ha in the same field. As in, that's why I realized, bang, uh, you really have to know your worth in order na dili ka ma-exploit in a way. Kay, really, dag ko kayo makuha ang companies na kwarta sa imuha. <laughs> you're working your ass off and then they just get majority of it. I get nga, dag ka mag expenses, no? And you're, you're building a company. Pero that's why, marag, ako na lang din ni resign. So, yeah. I'm not saying anything hindi maningon nga bad ang company ha it was a really good company wala lang yun ko ni Uyun I would rather just quit than complain all the time about their policies and all those things so yeah that was a charge to experience naman sad and I really learned so much so if you're somebody uh, or if you're a fresh graduate then I suggest na if you're able to find an online job then I would suggest na you go for it Okay, na mga pros and cons, no? you really have to weigh your options. Pero if you want something na more free ka, like you get income and then kana makadwap, makabuhat pa something else while doing your job, may anak bitaw, you can stay at home or you can go out to a coffee shop, ano anak bitaw, then I would suggest if you're that type, if you're like me, then go for it. If you already have an online job, then good for you. Hassle hard ng ito ani guys. And yeah, if not, if you really want a corporate job or a job na nakasa office, then you have to know your worth. You have to find a job that actually pays well, if not better or best. Ring anak kita, okay? It prone yun ka ayo sa exploitation. If you don't know your worth, if you don't really value your skills, you don't know how much your skills are worth. You pugot kaysa na no. Pero that's what I that's what I also learned during the two years ng nagwork ko. Anyway, going back, I didn't actually ganang I didn't intentionally stop vlogging. It was kind of a gradual thing from one busy day to two busy days. So murag, I realized na murag hala, wala na ko naka, I didn't have time to vlog anymore and then I didn't have time to edit my videos anymore. Or if I had kanang, if I had the time, I didn't have energy to do it anymore. So yeah, muna murag nawala na git ko's passing. If if you know, if old people would say it. So to summarize, after I found a job, I worked ASAP and it was all about work na dayon. And the days or the weekends off na ko, I spent recharging with my friends or my loved ones or family and I didn't want to vlog on those days because gawain na lang niya home time to spend with the people that I love ako pa yung insertan og something na more bit of work lang gihapon work related lang gihapon so I won't be able to to relax or to you know recharge in that way I was a bit frustrated but I had to endure it because I really needed a job I really needed to to work my ass off to be able to fend for myself. I know I took the longer route because the kan kimo say sa ko a lot of people would tell me na so as imo pala if imo palang gipadayon imo pag YouTube YouTube then daghan siguro subscribers karon or daghan kay gab views imo video you would have made so many content na unta but honestly I still don't regret the past two years na I stopped vlogging I stopped YouTube because I really learned a lot and I wouldn't trade my experience for my YouTube experience supposedly as people say it okay I really grew but for me in this time and age yun, I just really want to continue growing and growing and growing like as I learn learn as much as I can and stuff like that eventually of course I still have plans on doing business so good night reason why I also started working in the first place it wasn't only uh, I needed a job but my goal was also to see how cor the corporate world kanang works ba maring anak dito so I was kind of like hitting two birds with one stone in that sense kinahang dito maging wise to be able to succeed but 
I know I'm still far from it, but with all the things and with the guidance of God, I know that I'll be able to achieve my my goals and my dreams in my life. So if you're going to ask me, what about now? Do you have plans of continuing vlogging or making videos for YouTube? Then yes, most likely because I really quit my job because I felt like it was more like time na yun, na mundang na ko because I was really so stressed na I was getting to a point na depressed na kay kustanan because I I've been frustrated na wala gina ko na bot na kung gusto buha to marina na bitaw but I really more kind of blessing in disguise ning pandemic or not really I know a bad magid nung nahitabok no because me also I really don't like the what's going to happen karon but I'm just looking on the brighter side of things ba it also gave me a time to like pause or Mag pause for a while from the world, maring anak bitaw, and go back to doing what I really wanted to do. Ba? I've always loved being in this field. I've always loved kind of social media stuff and everything related to it. I just I just had a few roadblocks, but and I know nga I still have a few more to go. Blessing ganid ni few, but I have more to go. But no matter, I I learned. Uh, I know better now. So yeah, that is it for this video and I hope I answered questions um, from a few curious minds out there about I'm actually amazed na even in the past two years na I didn't upload anything. I watch videos or still people who would subscribe because I always get notified in my email and I still get like monthly YouTube review. So yeah, I'm amazed by the amount of support. I mean it's still support knowing that I have to see videos even if inactive because tanan like two years guys two years ko nawala and even until now from kato mga recent na kung di pang upload the the videos that I just recently uploaded I was amazed to see na there are still people who would watch my videos ba I'm I'm even close to 1k subscribers now and I'm not even sure if mugawas si siya video if this goes out before or after I reach 1k but I really hope so na I get to reach the 1k mark and that is all because of you guys and I'm so thankful for all of you for supporting me all these years and thank you so 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 much I can't thank you enough for all the support and love that you have given me and the things that I create so good pa siguro atong nag vlog pa ko sa tumblr mga pictures ako dito for those na nakaabot ato thank you so much if you're still here from since then then i love you guys so much all of you thanks so much for watching all my videos for all the content that i make and hope to see you guys in my next vlogs bye